Calibration of air blast sprayers for orchards, part 2, measuring liquid flow. This is also available in metric. Warning, if there is a possibility of contact with pesticides, proper personal protective clothing and equipment should be worn. Steps to assure proper calibration of your sprayer. Number one, choose the correct nozzles from the application chart. Number two, determine the ground speed of your tractor and sprayer in your orchard. Step three, adjust the spray manifold to the chart recommended value. Number four, measure the actual flow from each nozzle. And number five, check and repair any faulty nozzles and then recheck flow. Before determining forward speed, fill the sprayer tank half full with clean water. Note the air gap between the hose and the tank. Next, mark out a 100 foot long course. This course should be on the same ground, in this case the orchard, that you are going to drive over with your tractor and sprayer. Use a tape measure. Use pegs to identify the start and finish of the 100 feet. The reasons for checking our ground speed 1. Soil type and condition may vary Sinkage of the wheels Then use a stopwatch to time the run Drive the tractor and sprayer over the 100 foot course and record the time taken in seconds Start the stopwatch as your front tyre passes the first cone Continue along using the same engine speed as you would to give you 540 revs at the PTO. Stop the stopwatch as your front tyre passes the end marker. Note down your time, the gear selection and the engine speed from the course run. The formula for calculating ground speed is as follows feet travelled divided by the time taken in seconds multiplied by 60 divided by 88. An alternative is to use a GPS handheld device which will give you an instantaneous readout of your forward speed. For calibrating nozzle flow set the pressure at the nozzle manifold to the recommended value in the manufacturer's chart. Here you can see the pressure regulating valve with a pressure gauge mounted above it. Adjust the pressure to the manufacturer's recommended value for the output that you need. The following procedure will assure proper flow at each nozzle. Attach hoses to each nozzle to measure flow. We will show you five methods. Method 1 this is to use a rubber milking machine liner. Attach it to the outside of the nozzle. Method two is to use a purpose-built clamp. This clamp will give a very tight seal over the nozzle tip. Method three is a variation on method one. It's just a seal. Method four is the most popular. It uses a plastic hose and hose clamps. You notice the plastic hose is clamped to the outer side of the nozzle and the plastic hoses run down to the ground. Method 5 is to use a purchased flow meter which will give you a direct reading in gallons per minute. Next, with a stopwatch, time the flow from each nozzle for 60 seconds. Use a graduated cylinder if the flow rate is small. Here you see filling the graduated cylinder and the stopwatch. Use a large container if the flow rate is large. Here you see we're using uh, jugs or old containers and the stopwatch. Timing the process for one minute. The 
jugs are clearly marked with the nozzle number, both the right hand side and the left hand side of the sprayer. Insert the plastic hose into the jug as you start the stopwatch. Run it for exactly one minute. At the end of a minute, remove the hose and place the jug in the plastic box. Continue with this process, capturing, drop, uh, capturing water from each nozzle for one minute on the left and right hand sides of the sprayer. These containers will each be measured into a calibrated vessel. Here you see the five containers from one side of the sprayer and the calibrated vessel. Starting with nozzle number one, on the right hand side of the sprayer, we tip the clean water into the calibrated vessel and we note the height of the water within the vessel. Write this down on a piece of paper. Then decant water from number two. Notice the measuring cylinder is extremely full due to the damaged nozzle. Continue with this process nozzle number three on the right hand side record the details nozzle number four on the right hand side again record the details finally nozzle number five on the right hand side. Record the level in the calibrated vessel. Repeat the process for the nozzles on the left side of the sprayer. Recording can be done on a simple chart as you can clearly see here, the left hand column, the nozzle number, and the flow required in column 2. Same is on the right hand side. Any nozzle that is plus or minus 10% of the manufacturer's chart value, in this case 0.49 gallons, should be replaced. Convert the total fluid ounces to gallons per minute and compare the original requirements. Remember there's 128 fluid ounces in a gallon. So 644 fluid ounces divided by 128 equals 5.03 gallons per minute. See part one of the video, calibration of air blast sprayers for orchards, selecting and changing nozzles. The following websites will provide you with further information on nozzles and nozzle sizes. This video was produced by Andrew Landers and William Lazalier at Cornell University in upstate New York.